Hello YouTube, this is Tyans and welcome to another episode of the Instance Farming. Today I'll be doing the regular Scarlet Monastery in normal mode. And this time what I've done is I just wrote down the amount of gold I started with right here. And then I'll add this and then I'll add the gold I earned right here and I'll just subscribe subtract it right in front of you so you can see what I've made so far. Um, as you can see I have part of the screen closed off just for um, just so it'll make the video better because I've had a lot of lag lately. Um, what you want to do first off when you're doing this instance is that first you want to pull I'm gonna pull all the mobs. I'm gonna go through this whole instance and do everything. Well, mainly everything so you can see what you need to do okay so first what you want to do for each mob you want to go straight to the pile of corpses and you want to start DPSing those down so once you do that then all the other ones should be easy to pull down now you can do this with um, other people if they do need levels but you do not have to I'm just showing you right here they're pretty easy to kill for a higher level. If you're lower level, then it's also pretty good. Something you could also do is if you have some type of healer, then or if you're a paladin and you could heal yourself, then you could just go around and pull everything, and then you could um you go around and pull everything, and then you could just um DPS them all down or place a banner down and then kill them. Um, usually when I do instances this level, I usually take my gear off, but it really doesn't matter in this case, so I'm just going to do it with my gear just to make it faster since I am doing most of it. Um, something to know about the census, if you haven't already known, before the patch it was a lot different from this. It used to be just, um a lot cleaner uh, if I were to put a word on it it's, right now it's just like a lot messier and more zombie like but before it was it wasn't like this it was a lot different so that's just something to know about this instance if you're doing it for the first time in a while um, like I said before I do have some lag issues with my computer so sorry about that in the future but um there is there I have enough like not lag I don't know what it's called but I think it's called performance to where I can still show, show you the video um downing the first boss right here at first I did not know that you had to down the first boss so to open the door so what I did was I just went through the whole instance and just did that the first time around but then um, when I was doing it on my lower tunes then I realized that you have to kill the boss because I didn't even see it these are some people that you can kill but you don't necessarily need to um, I just kill them just because they're just sitting there you don't have to kill them but I do just because um, they will obviously bring you a little bit more experience, reputation, and maybe some gear. I don't really think they drop any good gear since they're yellow, but you can still kill them if you want. And doing this. And that's also something that's pretty different about this instance too. Is that when some of these things die, then their corpses turn into the spirit healer. So, I'm assuming they can heal, but I've never really seen it. I'm sure they can, but I just haven't seen it. They probably don't, though. But it really doesn't make a difference for me since I'm a higher level. Now, obviously, if you were just regular doing this, you might know. But I don't really run instances on my lower tunes. I mostly grind my levels, and then I just, um buy the gear or I just get it from the farming 
because I don't really, I don't really like going into instances, mainly because you never know what's gonna happen. Like you never know if you're gonna join a good group where everyone know, everyone knows everything, and everyone's been there before. You never know if you're gonna join a group like that, or if you're just gonna join a group to where nobody knows what they're doing. Everyone's just running around doing their own thing. There's always that one guy who just thinks he knows everything. And he tries to pull ahead of the time and then ends up dying. And then just wastes a lot more time. So I think farming is just a lot easier because you can know your limits. You know when to stop and you know when to keep going. You know how much experience you're getting most of the time. And when you're doing it, you could have... People can increase your odds it won't decrease them and you can get all the loot if you're doing it solo but if you're in an instance then you have to roll for it so oh yeah and a little tip for people doing the instance at a lower level for your actual level if you're doing the instance and you get to this part and your DPS is low and say someone died or you're just waiting for another group do some damage on this training dummy. I mean, it's right here. You can see, even at my high level, I can still do a lot of damage on it. But that will get you up some, um, some more points on the damage meter. And, um, because I know some people, they just like to brag about how high they got on the damage meter, even though they don't really have it top, topped. But that's just, um, a little hint for some people, if they are like that and they just want to get the top they don't really care about their performance um, these parts I'm not gonna go through the whole sides because there's really not that much over there so I'm just gonna go right here and then I'm gonna pull the these this boss and their ads well, I think these are ads no um, before this was not here it was just an open space with a few mobs on the side but they changed it so yeah I got a staff and just gonna keep on going apparently that other one doesn't want to come now this part is basically the same except I think they added less mobs were just in a different position because I remember they were in a different place before so just gonna kill him I was almost a one shot see if I can get a one shot on this lady so yes yeah, the same as before where you just um, kill her I mean kill him and then okay that doesn't work anymore oh yes it does okay so it used to be able to when you're doing this and you get stunned you used to be able to use your trinket but apparently they changed that um, those bosses went down pretty easy. Uh, I don't know where my loot is. Uh, okay. Let's see if it's in here. Usually you can loot them. I don't know what's happening. Okay, it's kind of weird. Okay, so we'll just go on the sides and see if... Maybe it's the loot is just loading. We're just going to attack these guys. These already look like they're dead. I don't know why. Because it's not like it's outside where the corpses will just stay there. Okay. And so now we'll turn it around. Turn. Okay, now there's something happening with my mouse. It's running low on the battery. I think that's what it is. It might not be. Okay, so for some reason that is not saluting properly. I don't know what's up with that. But, um, you can just see in your dungeon general what kind of loot you'll get. Like a, like a, um, like any instance, no loot is guaranteed. Unless it's a 100% drop rate. And the only thing that's really 100% drop rate in instances 
is money most of the time. So just something to know. And apparently they removed that little wall. There used to be like a little thing right here. Is that it? Oh, okay. So they added a switch to it to where you would come in here and kill this guy. Apparently he's dead. Probably from starvation because he's uh, undead. I only eat it things. Okay, so I still don't know what's up with this guy. so much. I still don't know what's up with this loot. I don't, I think it's just, um, some sort of glitch or something. It's probably because I trinketed. Well, actually, I don't think I trinketed when, before the time went off, but, oh well. And let's see how much we made. Um, okay, so I don't think we're gonna show. Okay, so now I need to sell all my stuff and get my little guild pet. If we'll come out. Okay, there he was. There's that weird looking guy. I wish they could customize these. Like, there's something right here the tailored officer shirts and the other shirt and the other shirt. But I wish you could just like buy it, like just specifically for your guild pets. Like there's some kind of vendor that you could just buy some gear for him and like maybe make him look like you, so it looks like a clone or something. But he holds the um banner. But it's just something that Blizzard could do, but probably not. Okay, so we got a blue, some cloth, another blue. Some more cloth, and uh, some wool cloth, some sweet nectar, some food, a lockbox. Um, I'm not gonna add that in because lockboxes aren't like a guaranteed thing. And if you're farming this, then you want the guaranteed amount. So I think that's pretty much all. Okay, so let's see how much gold we made. Is that it? Nope. Uh, here it is. Okay, so at first we had 59 gold, 16 silver, and 81 copper. And now we have 62 gold, 43 silver, whoops. Do not know what's happening. Okay, so I wasn't paying attention. Next up, click space. Okay, so we have 43 silver now. And we have 48 copper. No, the copper really doesn't matter. I'm not going to add that. Okay, so bring out the calculator. I probably should have had this on my bar already. But I thought that it would be down here, but I accidentally closed it. Okay, so 62 gold minus the 59 gold we had before. That's 3 gold. Um, 43 silver we had before minus the 16. Uh, that's 27. And didn't add the copper. So that's about 3 gold and 27 silver for each run. And this run did not take me that long. I'll put exact the exact things in the um in the description so you can see exactly how long how much you can make in an hour. Because when you're farming most of the time you do it by hour. So I'll be putting that in the description and if you like this video like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be making more soon. Bye.